Hi guys, times are strange when I'm forced to agree with Nick Ferrari. So on Question Time on Thursday night, the radio host delivered an almost perfect solution to the problem of raw sewage in English waterways. For people who don't know, English water was privatised many years ago, and while the companies running the system have been making millions in profit and handing it over to their shareholders, the infrastructure is collapsing due to a lack of real investment. The Tory solution is to give the private companies more taxpayer money. Nick Ferrari instead has a different solution. I can solve this at a stroke and let me tell you how we do it. The water company bosses are paid an average of around £1 million a year. Between the 22 or 23 of them, they bank £25 million. The profits that they make are eye-watering. The fines that are levied by the government are almost built in to the business model. They don't actually care because they're making so much money. Meanwhile, people in Bexhill and Eastbourne are out there swimming in a word I won't even use and you can't water your hydrangeas. This is the way we solve it and it's very simple. When the government wants to, they can bring in a law overnight, like the Public Order Act, which saw six people with a load of banners and some rubber bands arrested and thrown in jail. This is the law that needs to come in. Any chief executive who continually allows his or her company to put raw sewage into the water, let's get this law enacted straight away, will go to jail for five years before... For a Because, because, and one of my sons suffered from this, you can get Viles disease, fortunately he lived, which is a killer, and they are playing with people's lives by putting sewage in the water, put them behind bars, it'll be solved overnight. 100% agreement. Now, well, 99% agreement, <laughs> because I think there's also a better solution. But yes, this is a wonderful solution. Put the people in prison. Put them behind bars for five years. You can see, overnight, the companies would change their act. They would literally clean up their act. The only better solution, I think, would be to nationalise the water companies. This should not be in the hands of private companies. This resource, this resource that everyone needs, should not be in the hands of private companies. Now, in Wales, it is under private ownership, but the company is obliged to reinvest all of the money. There's a no, pro no share, uh, sorry, no dividend uh, profit profit system there where any profits are made they have to be reinvested in the company or in the infrastructure in scotland it's nationalized there is no private water company and scotland and wales don't have the same problems as england does england has these problems because private companies are making a profit and they're making and whatever money they have they're handing it, most of it over to their shareholders and they're not investing enough in upgrading the system and then they go cap in hand to the taxpayer saying, oh, we, we, we need more money to upgrade the system. And the Tories are, are willing to hand over over a billion pounds to do that. While these executives are making massive bonuses and the companies are making massive profits and people are not able to swim in the sea and people are not able to uh, rely on clean water in their rivers and lakes. But as I said, this is almost perfect, but a better solution will be to nationalise because then you don't have to take these people to court, you don't have to throw them in prison, they don't have the chance of appeal. There is no need to, to take action against them because it won't happen. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.